Hey there, Geeks. Tim with MajorGeeks.com. Today we're going to look at installing Windows Live Essentials, but more importantly, installing the apps that you want. What I can tell you is that support for this ended in January 2017, but as you can see, a lot of people are still looking for it. Live Mail, I'm told, no longer works. I use Thunderbird, so I don't know for sure. OneDrive is included with Windows 10 or easily downloadable, so there's no need to get that. No point downloading an outdated version. And family safety is probably pointless as well. The best we can tell is that photo gallery and more importantly, probably movie maker is what people are looking for. Check the video description to get to this page and click on download at Major Geeks, either one of these. And the file will come down. And what we're going to do is we're going to install it, but we're going to pick what you want. Now I'll also mention while we're downloading and installing that we attempted to rip these out individually so you could download photo gallery and movie maker and we just couldn't get it to work it was missing dll's we tried different packs we spent a couple hours trying to get it to work and maybe there's a way i'll look into it a little bit more later so once you have the file just double click it as always and wait for it to come up and what we're going to do is click yes at user account control and then we're going to decide which apps you want to install the main reason for this, of course, is making sure that you get what it was you're looking for. So here you have install everything which you really don't want to do. And you can click choose the programs you want to install. So depending on what you want, just go ahead. Now Photo Gallery Movie Maker, they go to the same folder and they go together so you can't really have one or the other. Once again, we were unable to separate them. Mail, writer, depends what you want. I think writer still works, I don't know. But anyway, odds are you guys are after this. So this is the best way to do it. So leave that checked if that's what you're after. And click install. You also probably noticed that it said OneDrive was installed as we mentioned. Typically everybody on Windows 10 now has that. So it's one of Windows pre-included apps, pre-installed apps, whatever you wanna call it. So let's give this a minute and then we'll show you that you'll be able to just go to start to find them, for example. And sometimes it'll ask you to log in, which you can skip around it. Or if you have a Microsoft account, knock yourself out. So we'll click close and go start. It should show up in your recently added here, this, the two art that we just installed, or typically you can find them somewhere down here as well. There's your photo gallery under P. What was the other one? Movie Maker, so we'll scroll down to M. And there's your Movie Maker. So let's start with Movie Maker real quick. And as I mentioned, it's going to ask you to agree. And I think it might ask you to log in. It didn't do it this time. I've had it where it pops up with a login. So there's your movie maker. Let's do photo gallery. There is one of it. Now I, I knew I seen it somewhere along the lines. So watch this, just close it. And there it is. Everything that you need works. Import, new folder, etc. If that's what you're looking for, there you go. And if you change your mind, you can always sign in over here later. Same with Movie Maker, which a lot of people still like. So it's still pretty simple and pretty cool. So there you go. If you're looking for Windows Live Essentials and wondering what it is, how to install it, and how to get exactly what you want out of it, I can't find a better way. But keep an eye on Major Geeks. If I do find a better way, we'll get it up there for you. Thanks for watching. As always, be sure to click subscribe. See ya.